cold crab. Cold crab noodle, no wait. Cold crab noodles with a golden coconut soup. Welcome back to Send Nude. I'm Emerald and today we are gonna make a cold crab noodle with a golden coconut soup. This recipe is kind of my attempt to hold on to summer and the warm weather for as long as I can, even though it is sadly technically fall. But we still have really gorgeous tomatoes, so we are gonna use that. This recipe is super easy. Our soup gets built into our blender, so let's jump right in. So we are going to start by just adding everything into our blender. We're gonna start off with some coconut milk, and then we have our beautiful tomatoes. These are sun golds. I'm just going to pop those in there. This is a cold soup, but if you are trying to embrace that warmer weather and want something cozier, you could totally simmer this in a pot and it's great warm as well. Next, we're gonna add in some ginger and turmeric. I love this soup because it's super nourishing but also really flavorful. And this turmeric is great because it's also gonna give us that beautiful golden color. Next, we're gonna add in some miso paste for that little umami pack. And then I'm gonna put in some sugar and a little sesame oil. This soup has kind of those Thai-ish flavors, but I would not go all the way and call it a Thai soup, but it has some really good moments in there with the garlic, the coconut milk, and then we're gonna add some lime in there also. So when I come up with recipes, I usually start with the picture of what the final dish is going to look like. So for this one, I knew I wanted it to have this really beautiful, golden soup and a bunch of really colorful veggies on top. Um, so that's where it started. And then recipe development doesn't always go as we plan, so things of course change as we go, but I am pretty happy with how this recipe turned out. Now we wanna add in our lime. We're gonna do a whole lime. The lime here is gonna add some really nice freshness. I like using the zest because it's packed with those citrus oils and it's really flavorful. So that goes in. I'm gonna give our lime a little roll here to help those juices come out. Cut it in half and we're gonna squeeze all that in there. Perfect. This looks and smells so good already. And I'm very excited for you to see the color once this all blends up. So I love making this recipe, especially when I'm short on time. Over the summer, I made versions of this all the time. If you like gazpacho or if you're into, you know, a cold um, Korean noodle, you'll love this dish too. All right, I'm gonna season this with a generous pinch of salt. As we know, this is a cold soup, so I'm gonna chill it with a couple ice cubes here. And then we're just gonna blitz everything up. Pop that on. Okay, that is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna give it a little taste test, see if we need to adjust any of our seasonings. Mm, I'm gonna add a tiny little pinch of salt. Give it another whiz. Okay, that looks good. If you're using a super high powered blender and you don't have any chunks left, you don't have to strain it. But as you can see, there are some little bits left over from our tomatoes and some of the pulp from the ginger and turmeric. So I'm going to strain mine. And I'm just gonna pour it through a fine mesh sieve here. I'm gonna try not to splash myself. I feel like wearing white today was a very brave choice. <laughs> okay, that looks gorgeous. We have a beautiful, really creamy consistency. And just give it a little stir with a spoon until all your soup comes out. So I like to strain my soup out just to make it really silky smooth. If you were to do a hot version of this, I like to simmer it, but it's up to you. If you wanna cut out a step and have a really easy weeknight meal, you don't have to do this. It's gonna taste great either way. But as you see, this is kind of coming down kind of slowly, so there is a good amount of pulp in there from the tomatoes and that ginger like I mentioned. There are actually some really classic Asian dishes that use tomatoes. It's a lot, I feel like it's typically more home cooking. So one of my favorites that my mom always made me was tomato and eggs. Super simple, comes together really quickly. It's something that sometimes she would make for breakfast. It would be like a really easy kind of, you know, 10 minute dinner sort of thing. All right, we are getting to the end here and our soup is looking great, but you see all this? We don't really want that. So we're going to put that aside. And now we have our soup done. So I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge so it stays cold while we make everything else. 
Okay, for our toppings, we're gonna start off by chopping up some purple cabbage. I like using purple cabbage in this. It gives us a really nice crunch, but it is also gorgeous. And against that backdrop of that creamy golden soup, it's gonna look and taste really good. Gorgeous, we have our cabbage. And we're gonna put into our bowl. I like the purple cabbage because it's beautiful. And when I was kind of picturing this dish when before I even started recipe testing, I knew I wanted that good contrast of color. So that's why I went with purple. But next we're going to rib in some cucumber. If you're having friends over, this is a really kind of interactive meal, I'd say. Sometimes when I have people over, I just set out all the veg and they can come right before we start eating and help me prep, which is really nice. I mean, they are getting a meal out of it after all. But I guess they're working for it too. So it's, it's a collaborative experience. Really beautiful and thin, and when we plate, we can kind of drape them nicely. So the cucumber is gonna go right into this bowl. It's gonna join our cabbage right there. And we really wanna hit all colors of the rainbow, so we have some gorgeous radishes that I'm just going to thinly slice. I love a radish moment, adds crunch, because we always want more crunch, but also it has a really lovely kind of mild spiciness to it. This whole dish is not, it's very mild, there's no spice, but if you want, you could always top it off with a little chili oil. I know I like to do that. Not a crime. Cool, all right. Almost prepared. Last thing, scallion. Just gonna thinly slice it. For me, having a beautiful dish is just as important as how it tastes. I started out in the food space as a food stylist, so that's really one of the first things I think about when I start to cook. So we have all of our toppings, the cabbage, the cucumber, radish, scallions. I also earlier toasted some sesame seeds. And then, because we're feeling a little bougie, we have some lump crab. But if you want something different, you can also use shredded chicken, shrimp. It'll all be great for this recipe. All right, our water is boiling, so we're going to cook our noodles. We have some rice noodles here. We're going to pop them right into our water. And we're gonna cook them to package directions for this one. It's like five to six minutes. All right, our rice noodles have plumped up and they are fully cooked. So now I'm going to bring them over to the sink here, strain them. We're gonna run them under some cold water because these are cold noodles after all. Perfect. All right, this recipe is almost done. We are going to just grab our cold noodles. I'm gonna pop it into my bowl here. And then we're going to pour our soup right on top. It kind of looks like we're doing a science experiment, which I quite like. And this just goes right on the side. Look at how gorgeous that color is. Perfect. And then we're gonna put our toppings on. I have my cabbage. Just gonna pop that right on the side. There's nothing like the feeling of when I have an image of something in my head and I can actually create it and it looks the way that I want. Probably like top three feelings in this world. Okay, let's see. Next two is like when you go to the subway and you walk up to the platform right as the train comes. That's a great feeling. And then like when you see corn dogs, because who doesn't love corn dogs? I love corn dogs. Well then if not corn dogs, then like, I don't know, my dog's cuddles, like that's always great, but feels like a little bit of a cop out. All right, so we're gonna put some scallions on the side here, finish it off. And then I have our lump crab. I'm just gonna do a nice big kind of plop right in the middle there. That looks gorgeous. And then our final touch, those roasted sesame seeds. And voila, we have a stunning bowl of our, our cold noodle soup. So I wanna try our broth first. Nice and thick and creamy. Mm. It's so good, super refreshing. It's really nice and singing with that ginger and the lime in there. And for a nice big bite of the noodles, I wanna give this a little mix. And I'm gonna do my very best not to get it on my shirt here. Cheers. Mm. That is really good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.